Jesus. I slept around 2 o'clock last night and Quinn's trying the impossible, which is trying to wake me up. Just do a uh, holy go. No, you're gonna get the fuck up now. The pass that we bought, we can head into the convention an hour early, so we're about to go do that. But in order for us to go there, I have to wake Athan up. And let's just say he's not the easiest person to wake up. He's not a morning person. This guy can fucking sleep. We finally arrive here, and it's about 15 minutes until this place actually opens. We try to go to the end of the line, but in order to do that, we have to have a ticket. So we have to go back to the front of the line to grab our passes, and then go back to the end of the line, which there must have been at least 500 to 1,000 people ahead of us, but there's a lot of people. Uh, the line's all the way outside, but it's uh, moving fast. So as we're walking in, we meet up with the the players' prescription boys. Uh, we just let them get cut these real quick. So fuck it. Upon first looking at this place, it's massive. Like I was expecting it to be like this. It's like twice the size of what I thought it was gonna be. So it was really cool. Whole bunch of games. There's a whole bunch of games out there. Uh, game, can any game that I can think of that was built in this lifetime, it's there. It's it's crazy. Oh, I've never seen so much fucking game in my life. Um, it smells like the 80s and the 90s again. It's just fucking very retro. Um, so we're here, Expo, looking for games with our boys' place description. Uh, find some deals. So I see a N64 cleaning kit in the box and it's listed at eight bucks. I'm oh, getting this. A fucking cleaning kit. That is pretty dope. What if, I, what if I do a five on it? We do a five on this one? Oh, uh, sorry, bro. Okay. It was it was gone later that day, but no worries. I had better shit to get. The morning is still young. So a little trade was supposed to happen between uh, Edgar and myself. Um, he had something I, I really needed, and I had some stuff he wanted. Uh, I've been looking for Harvest Moon 64 for the longest time. Jumping into the player prescription. Uh, fuck Kenny up all day. <laughs> steal, steal, steal Kenny deals. Fuck my shit up. Hey, Naked Bob right there. Naked Bob. Naked Bob, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey! <laughs> yesterday but uh Edgar gave me an offer that I couldn't pass up so uh this is for you man. Snake and even Portland. How does it feel Kenny? Feels wonderful. Feels like home. <laughs> feels like being in home. <laughs> That's right. right man. Alright let's go find some fucking games. Um Athan is a this is the first time really using his camera other than photos. He takes some pretty cool photos but this is the first time he's really using his uh his camera for like video filming. So he guys a uh, he took a lot of good uh, shots of like asses and dicks. So he got some good shots of those. How's it going? Doing How's it good? going? Good. Yeah. Look at need it. Nice. Pick up. Yes. Yeah, first one. Let's take that. Right on here. So we come across this uh, big just trough full of 
random ass controllers, wires, third party accessories, games, strategy guides, headsets. So they give you a plastic bag and you can fill it up. This is pretty much it. Hey, the DJ, listen to me. We've got bags for sale. Five dollars a bag. Buy a bag from us and fill it up. We got the dump in ready to go. Five dollars a bag and fill it up. Oh yeah? Which guy? Just go to the guy at the counter, any of them can. Hey, you wanna get me a bag, man? It's five bucks. Five dollars, Buster. <laughs> It's basically a five dollars uh, plastic bag. Yeah, they just get whatever. Thanks, man. Just dig around and see. Why not? Where are the controllers? Find a good shit, man? I can't find nothing in there. I found some good shit. Really? Yes. Oh, you lucky? Oh, what the you fuck? And then look, look us down here in the fucking bottom. Uh, Dude, someone's grabbed my fucking PS2. Holy shit. Someone's grabbed my PS2 right in front of my face, too. I'm like, fucking A. You know you don't fucked up, right? They just pulled that PS2 out in front of my face. <laughs> it's $5 and you fill up your bag. Caught slipping. I got, I got, I got caught. I fucked up. And then fucked up. You know you don't fucked up, right? What do you mean? <laughs> There's a PS2 right in front of me. Uh, Fucking took it. Let's see what you got. Shit. Huh? They're doing heavy lifting, grabbing all the fucking cables. Bro, he's about to call in sick to work. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Second time. You're calling in for a job all the way in California. Yes, please. Oh. Yes, I'm calling in for work today. Uh, 364-87028. Uh, Felipe Costico. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm visiting my grandma at the hospital. I'm in Oregon right now. Okay. Uh, what time do I uh, what time do I supposed to work today? Okay, so that's uh, 10, 10 uh 10, 10 points. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Man, like two minutes. I will. Uh, two. Only two minutes. I was gonna get 30 points. Fucking crazy. I started Timbro's roll. So one of my main goals for this whole trip um, was I'm not gonna leave without finding Snowboard Kids 2. And lo and behold, I find a copy of Snowboard Kids 2. It's not the price that I want to pay though. It's not the price I want to pay at all, so... I decided to come back for it. If it's still there, I'll get it, but... I'm not gonna pay that kind of price for a first day. At this, this point, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, we need to head to the hotel to go uh, empty my backpack and whatnot and drop it all off. But um, Nathan and John just want to stay behind. They want to go, I think uh, Nathan had to go to some art museum for school and then uh, John just wanted to rest. He didn't want to walk anywhere. I stayed at the hotel. I watched <laughs> movies. Knock, knock the hell out. What? So at that point, I went back to the convention. Unfortunately, I had no camera person to follow me, but I ended up getting a bunch of deals. And um, a deal went down for me actually getting a Snowboard Kids 2. There was a, a reseller, like a local shop that came there as a, a vendor. And they had Snowboard Kids 2 list at 60 bucks. It was like, there's no way I'm paying fucking $60 for this game when I know I can easily get it for like 40 at the other store. But I had two games with me that I was actually gonna just Giveaway to trade or to sell for real cheap. I had Banjo Kazooie and um, Banjo uh, Banjo Kazooie and DK64. I've had these games lying around with my room forever, and I just didn't, I was actually gonna get rid of them. I was supposed to give them to Kenny, but yeah, sorry, bro. I, I got Snowbreeds too instead. Fuck Kenny up. So uh, the guy said he'll give me.
Yeah, I really wish someone was there to film that because that was pretty cool. The game I wanted the most. I left with it and I got it and... No cameraman. It probably around 5.30ish, 5.20, 5.30ish, uh, Quinn came back, woke me up, and you know where we're headed. Please prescriptions, cabin. Day three, we got to the convention around maybe 12 or 12 after. Uh, we did a little bit of hunting for an hour just to, to look around. Uh, but pretty much the whole day, we just played games. The art, we went to the arcade. It was just to uh, enjoy the arcade section, just play as much stuff as we want. And then around the last couple hours, uh, lowball all the people. All the resellers. Just love all the shit out of them. Fuck it. It's the worst thing I can say is no. Didn't do much except for playing games. Uh, we played a lot of games. We played pinball. And we played it's pretty some awesome games, yeah. Games we played uh, F Zero. You can boost after the first lap. It's a pretty fucking hard game. It's pretty cool, but pretty fucking hard. Be some awesome games, yeah. And I went to a Battlefront 2 uh, tournament. Um, I got fourth place because my fucking team sucks. They don't know how to fucking play. If you ain't first, you're last. So we find this stand that just sells CIB games, and uh, we got it for cheap. We bargained the fuck out of them. Uh, I saw the things and then um, I had John ask for me. I wasn't really comfortable uh, low ball in the shed of him, so he did. And uh, ended up getting like boxes, box games for $5 each. And these are good games too, so ended up getting like Tonic Trouble, Rush 64, or Rush 2049 in San Francisco. Then we left. That's about it. That was day three? That was day three. We had a great time, you know, we made new friends, we got some great deals, even got a couple subscribers, which is pretty cool. So, all in all, we had fun. It was really, really fun. Uh, since day one till the last second of day three, we had a whole bunch of fun. But yeah, this day's coming to an end. Long drive ahead of us home. Until next time, guys. If you buy your tickets online, the pre-order. Fucking that's it. So day three. So day three, we got in a convention.